Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we're going to calculate the standard deviation. Now, when calculating a, a quantity like this, it's good to note that depending on whether your data comes from a sample or a population, there are actually two different formulas that you have to keep track of. And they're almost identical, except for you'll notice in the bottom here, in the sample, it has an n minus 1, whereas when you're dealing with the population, you really just have a couple of n's or an n squared. All right? So, you, you do have to know exactly what your data is coming from, but other than that, it's a fairly straightforward and simple calculation. So let's go ahead and move on to an example and see exactly how this would work. So here I have just a bunch of different data points, and I'm going to assume that these are all from a sample of some sort. And we're going to need to find these various different pieces of the formula and plug them in. Uh, one of the pieces we'll need to find is this n, and that simply stands for how many data points do you have. So if we just count these up real quick, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 different data points, so we know that n is equal to 10. All right, moving on. We can see that this is the sum of all of the values of x squared. So there's actually two things we need to do. First, we need to find all of the values squared, and then we'll add those up. Now, this can take a little bit of time, and uh, it's, it's probably a good idea that you have a calculator to take care of these individual uh, steps. Uh, I'm going to use my calculator and quickly move through these. All right, so I've gone through each of our data points. I've squared each of them, and now we need to take the total. So again, using a calculator, we could just add all of these up. In doing so, I get 8, 5, 5, 1, 1. So this represents uh, the sum of all of the x values squared. Now, it's not the only sum we need to take. Over here, we also need to sum the regular x values and then square that sum. So again, we'll need to add these and then square that result. Adding these ones up, we get 891. This needs to be squared. So squaring 891, that would give us uh, 70, 7, 9, 3, 8, 8, 1. All right, just to be clear what values we have found here, let's go ahead and write that with the uh, other stuff up here. So I have the sum of the x squareds. That was 8, 5, 5, 1, 1. And then we added up all of the values as they were and then squared that sum. This was 7, 9, 3, 8, 8, 1. Okay, so now that we have all of our various pieces, now we literally just put it into the formula. So here we're taking the square root of 10 multiplied by 85511 minus, now we have all of this stuff, 793881. All this will need to be divided by 10 multiplied by 9. Now, there is a lot of stuff in there, but it does simplify fairly nicely. Again, you might want to use a calculator to just take care of a lot of those uh, calculations on the inside. Uh, in doing so, I get about 680.3222, and that, that 2 is repeating on the end. No worries. You can easily take the square root of that. This will give you 26.08 and some change. So maybe we'll say this is uh, approximate. All right. Now, if your data comes from a population, this will be almost identical. Let's go ahead and plug those in and see what they would look like. The value of n would still be the same. Same thing for our sigma uh, x squared. So there's our 85511 minus 793881. And the change is instead of saying 10 times 9, this would really be just 10 times 10 or 100. So now we'll need to take the square root of all of that. Even though it is a, a small change, you will get some different numbers here. So now this will take the square root of uh, 612.29. And taking the square root of that, we get 24.74. And, and, and again, some more decimals, so we'll go ahead and say about 24.74. And there you go. That is the value of your standard deviation if it comes from a sample and the value of your standard deviation if it comes from a population. If you'd like to see some more videos, definitely visit MySecretMathTutor.com.